G'day everyone, we're out at the front verge and we're going to get some planting done. And what I'm going to do out here is something like the Three Sisters, but not really. Uh, I'll show you the Three Sisters, creating a video of that uh, which will be posted a bit later on. But let's have a look what we're doing here. So before we get started, welcome back curmudgeoning camera person. Uh, she's finished her exams and now she's going to start filming her, so you'll see an uplift in the filming quality now. So what we're getting in here is some Aztec corn, which is the colourful corn, and that will provide something for our beans to climb up. And to cover the soil and keep the weeds down and keep the moisture in, we're going to be planting a couple of butternut pumpkins and zucchinis. Now the soil out here is absolutely awful. I've been trying to improve it a bit. We've got the guinea pig straw down uh, covering it as a mulch. We'll cut a few channels in there, pop our seeds in, and hopefully things will come up soon. Let's get started. Now, because I'm planting the corn at the same time as the beans, I'm actually going to plant most of the beans along this um, mesh that I've got here, because the corn won't be tall enough. So we'll just fix this up so it's nice and a little bit more solid. Not very good, is it? But here. And I'll get these weeds out as well. I've mentioned this in my poop and mulch video. This one is oat straw, and we get lots of oats coming up. So I don't want to sow my wild oats. I want to get the oats out. So we're we'll weed while we're here. Oh, Rufus. This is the soil we have out the front here. I've been spending uh, many years trying to improve it, and it is much, much better. So it sort of clumps together. It's got a little bit of organic matter in it, um, but it's still still not great, but much better than the hydrophobic sand we normally get. All right, we're going to plant this in, in three rows. Oh, we've got earthworms. This is good. There he is there. This is Aztec corn. It's lots of brightly coloured kernels. Uh, very, very pretty to look at, but not great to eat. So it's not a sweet corn. We'll grind this up as a cornmeal uh, polenta or something similar. So we're going to plant this, as I said, in three rows. We're going to put the occasional pumpkin seed or zucchini seed in, in between them. We'll plant this little patch so you can see how we're doing it. The corn should be about 300 mil apart in the rows. But we'll chuck some extras in because I should have mentioned these are corn kernels I saved from last year. And I've got lots of them. We're just going to scatter them around like so. Should be there. Cover them up. Okay, so we've got three rows of corn in. We're going to plant some beans along the side of them. As I said, if we're doing this properly, what we would do is wait for the corn to get to a certain height, then we would plant beans next to them. But out here, I'm not overly fussed. So let's just pop a few beans out around the place. So there's our beans. We have one other thing to put in, which is the curmudgeon camera person's favourite butternut pumpkin. Now these will get quite large, so all we're going to do is just pop in a couple of seeds in the middle. Just the two seeds, cover them up, and that will do there. Right, we shall continue all the way back getting our corn, beans, and pumpkin in. Earthworms are loving the uh, guinea pig poo. So up there we've done the corn and the beans and some butternut pumpkins. Down this very end, because we've got the path and I don't want to be forever pulling the pumpkins back into the garden or cutting the, uh, the runners off, I'm going to put a couple of zucchinis. One of the other things, I should have mentioned. You'll notice the type of beans these are. They are climbing beans, not bush beans. And this is because we want them to climb up 
either the fence or the corn that we've planted. So let's just get a couple of zucchinis in. Again, just popping a couple of seeds in each place. Yeah, and an extra one for luck. And that should give the entire street enough zucchinis for all of summer. Right, what's next? As I said, we've improved the soil a lot compared to what it used to be. In fact, come with me and I'll show you what it's like. I'm sure our neighbours won't mind me digging a little hole. This is what we start with, and that is completely hydrophobic, no nutrients in it whatsoever, absolutely horrible. So you can see it's a big improvement over there. Corn's a very hungry feeder, so we're going to get some of the generic NPK fertiliser out on it, and that'll just give it a bit of a boost. So out we go with a few handfuls every metre square or so. All down here we'll do a couple of strips of Aztec corn and the runner beans again. So I've got this wonderful little hand cultivator the curmudgeon camera person bought me for birthday or Father's Day? Father's Day. Father's Day, a while ago. So let's see how well it works, and it works really well. That's one. Now what we have to do is sprinkle our corn out. Put in some of our beans. Let's put in our second run. Fix that up in a minute. Which should help us fill this in too. These are the same beans, just from a different place. I don't know how good the germination rate on this corn is, so I put a fair bit in there. I hope the birds don't eat all of this. We might put some, I think we'll put some more mulch out here. But the final thing we need to do just here to grow up and over the mesh is a couple more butternut pumpkins. So we'll put two seeds in here and get that oat out of the way. Another two down here. More earthworms in there. And get the fertilizer out. The final bit in the middle here. There's too many tree roots to grow much, so I'm just gonna put a couple of zucchini seeds in there. Okay, just getting that sprouted oats out. And in here we'll put, as I said, just a couple of zucchinis. I'm growing out here, if anyone actually feels like a zucchini in a walking pass, I don't mind, they can help themselves. So two more down there. We'll get some more mulch out and we'll be done. So just another couple of zucchini seeds in here. And a few of them should come up. There we go. See what the water retention's like on this soil, sand. See if we need some wetter soil out. We're going to use the neighbours again as an example. If we put water on this, look, it just sort of sits on top. And that's what our hydrophobic soil is like. It takes forever to run in. You can only give it a really light water, and that will just sit there. Now, this is ours.
All right, so I think we need to get some wetter soil out. It's much better than a big earthworm. So we'll get some wetter soil out as well. This is a treatment for water repellent soil. Uh, it says to use about 15 mil per nine litre bucket. Meant to be okay, eco-friendly. And that's about half a cap, so let's just pop that in there. And we'll get it out. Yum, yum. Oh, it's got a nice, nice aroma to this lot. I think it was leghorn chickens that produced the manure for this. Mostly living on the south side of the barn. Watering light tonight. We have water restrictions in Western Australia and we're only allowed to water twice a week. We're under a flight path again today, so we have to keep stopping. Anyway, all done. This is my Makey Learny Three Sisters. Um, it's not the true Three Sisters way of planting because I've planted everything at the same time. However, we've got the mesh to help the beans grow up. We've got the zucchini and pumpkins in to cover the soil and our Aztec corn, which should come up fairly soon. Uh, it's all corn at the front, so we'll end up with a bit of a windbreak here, two rows of corn, just a couple of pumpkins in here, zucchinis and pumpkins there. Sorry, it's zucchinis in the middle. And again, three rows of corn and beans. That's the quick and easy three sisters. I'll do a proper one later on and show you as it grows and not publish that until it's all well established. So let's clean up, get everything back out the back. Enjoy life, I'll catch you in the garden.